I just took a picture to put in the thumbnail of my last video and I'm like, dang, you really are losing weight. You definitely reached your goal weight and I can't see it until I take pictures and video and all of that. I was looking at my leg. I'm like, okay, Tone, come through, come through. I don't know, guys. I'm very proud. Animal-based diet. I will show you guys these shoes on. Seb was begging to get me some Brooks for like, weeks and i was like nope i like my hokas i'm used to my hokas blah 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 and he ended up ordering me these these are by brooks and look at the bottom how cute is that i was like at first kind of like not sure about the pink i didn't think i would like it but i actually love the pink i think i might like them better than the hokas so i might be a brooks girl now so i will let you know how they hold up at the gym these are crazy you like literally fall for like woo like that's how I feel when I wear them. She's so happy I just got back from the gym. She's so happy. Yes, she is. Oh, you like the shoes? Do you approve of the shoes? That's a yes. Good. <laughs> I know you want attention. I'm coming, I'm coming. Anyways, these are so good. My little attention, baby. Oh, I love you so much. Look at that angel. That's my angel. Oh, it's a bubba. I felt so much taller. I felt like I could see higher over the treadmill. I feel like I had so much more support. And I did an incline on the treadmill in these. So I just did my regular incline walk and regular walk, and they were perfect. Okay, so we just got our book and they gave this to us and we feel like this is the dog distribution system and that we're supposed to have Patsy. Patsy and Callie. If we don't, scan this QR and go get Patsy if you live in OC. How cute! There was a spider crawling up your phone and I got it <gasps> just in time. Thank you. Oh my God, that's scary. Do you want Patsy? I do want Patsy. <laughs> Look at the little snaggle tooth. Look at I don't the know if you little... can see. <gasps> a snaggle tooth on both of our baby. Oh my God, do we need her? We need her. This is the book I ended up getting. It was the first one that called out to me. I was looking for something kind of scary, kind of mystery vibes. Later that same evening. So if you're looking to adopt and you're in the Orange County or SoCal area, go to Friends of Orange County's Homeless Pets and we're browsing all the babies right now. And we love them all so much. You can donate, you can adopt. And they have cats too. Oh my God, they're all so cute. Oh my, her name. Look at all these babies. Patsy, <laughs> that's the one that we got. They are all so cute. I got new hair. Bellamy, I love you so much. I have a link to them in my link tree. If you guys ever need new hair, I'm serious. They are the only brand I use when I'm paying for it or when it does get sent to me. They are the only brand I like. I'm not kidding. I tried Amazon ones. They were not the same. Bellamy sent me some of their 16 inch extensions. My color is dark brown. This is literally the perfect color for me. I've never had 16 inch, so I'm kind of nervous, but like excited. I feel like it'll be the perfect length for me. Not too short, not too long another day another ninja creamy recipe so this one is peanut butter flavored you guys i used to go to golden spoon all the time and get the peanut butter flavor now i can make it at home and so 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 much healthier and eat more of it for less calories the only ingredients you need for this is fair life skim milk like a dash of maple syrup like a dash and yes i do use sugar free literally maybe a tablespoon or two powdered peanut butter a fourth cup a serving of vanilla protein powder and i re-spin it with a dash of toasted marshmallow nut pods which doesn't have any fake sugar and a little bit of almond milk so I kind of made this a more healthy version. I can already tell this is my new hyperfixation. My body likes it a lot more than adding the sugar-free jello pudding. As good as it is, trust me, and I will still eat those, but this is a lot lighter and a lot healthier and less ingredients. So this is my Ninja Creamy for tomorrow. I just made it. Doesn't this just look like peanut buttery goodness? I mean, trust me, it doesn't look great right now. It doesn't look like ice cream, but it is going to be the best thing in the entire world tomorrow. Yay! Okay, I just got here to the nail salon. I've never been here before. I'm getting my nails and and my toes done I'm really really excited about it because I have not got my nails done since 2021 you guys but my appointment is at 5 30 it's 5 29 I don't want to make them late because I'm already having kind of like a late appointment so I'm gonna go but I will show you the finished product this is my nails right now cuticles are not cute they're not looking good and my toes look the same if not worse so let's get this fixed up 
Wow, this has been me for years, you guys. Like, literal years. I am so excited. I'll show you guys what I get. Look at that sunset. Insane. So pretty. Aren't they so nice? I am so excited. I have not had nails like this in so long. I feel so pretty. I'm addicted already and I'm gonna be back in two weeks. It just, it just works. It just works, you know? Wedding nails. I feel so good. Oh, I just feel like a baddie again. And they are incredible. They got this done so fast. They got it done in less than an hour. I did gel toes and obviously like acrylic gel nails. So nice. I love them. I love them. And I love my nails. Can't believe I'm getting married next week. I do have a few days. I'll already be married by the time this video is up, so it's fine. But I have a few days, quite a few days until the wedding. Maybe like five days. I hope this wasn't too early to get it done, but I feel like nothing's gonna happen. And it's gonna be totally fine. I literally feel brand new. I forgot what it felt like to have cute toes and cute nails. <sighs> It is time to go home. It is a Friday night. It is Friday, October 25th. The weirdest part about that is tonight is escape day one. And you guys know me. I used to go to escape all the time. That was my favorite rave besides EDC. And now I'm just getting my nails done and chilling on a Friday night. I would love to go back to escape someday. I love Halloween. I honestly miss raving. I'm looking forward to apocalypse, but it's not like the entire experience that I feel like a NOS event is. It's not like super fun of a festival, but the lineup is obviously incredible. So I am looking forward to apocalypse. Yeah, that is basically the T is escape is tonight and tomorrow and i just forgot who even am i maybe next year i can go back because i will be 30. i just feel like i'm old i just feel like i'm old actually no i won't be 30 for escape next year because it'll be right before i turn 30. but someone tell me i'm not getting old and i could still rave because i'm missing it a little bit right now i am missing feral olivia that would be at a rave right now getting lit meeting new people and friends and having fun <sighs> Oh man. Okay, now it's getting cold. It wasn't cold when I was walking down here and now I'm cold. We're gonna get some pictures. I don't think it's quite the pretty time of day yet. Kind of. I don't know. But it's still beautiful. It's very clear, which is nice. I was scared it wasn't gonna be clear. But ah! It's the sunrise! We got here! Dude, the lighting is so good. Come here. <laughs> this is one of the best parts about coming to the beach. Is the seagulls. Hi, Bubba. He's like, you know what? Second thought. He's like, I can't tell if you guys have food. <laughs> He's so cute. You're so cute. Bye. Is this not just the prettiest sight you've ever seen? We are now going to go to Whole Foods. And we're going to go get flowers. And then we're going to go home. And we have a little bit of an errand day today. You know what sounds good right now? Nice cup of coffee. Nice iced coffee sounds delicious. But I should probably just make mine at home. Or do you want to go to... What? Do you want to go to a coffee shop? Look how handsome my husband is. Another baby. Hi. Look how pretty. <laughs> Babe, he's just... <gasps> Treasure Island Laguna Beach is the cutest little place. You have to come here for sunrise if you live in OC. It's just really cute. Everyone's so sweet. Everyone's just always so sweet every time we come here. Do you notice that? Every time we come here for sunrise, like we talk to people and like yeah. they're just all so kind. 1010 recommend coming here. Like, look at this. <laughs> look at this. Oh, oh that little mama. Oh. Hey, how's it going? The little baby. That was a cute puppy. Joanna suggested, my friend Joanna, that we go to Whole Foods. Yeah, we're gonna look for flowers here. Okay, so it turns out we just got home. There was nothing at Whole Foods. So we went to Trader Joe's. So I got these like natural colored roses, kind of pink, kind of green, kind of white. I don't know, but it's giving natural. It's giving forest fairy. I love it. And then of course had to get the white roses. That's originally what I came for. And then I got a way nicer baby's breath. And I got this from Trader Joe's. This was the only thing I got from Whole Foods and I did not need that. So we're gonna make the bouquet today and it's gonna be pretty. So right now I picked my favorite roses and I'm picking off the little leaves. I'm learning how to do a DIY wedding bouquet. This is gonna be fun.
Okay, so I have my main flowers here ready to go. I open them up a little bit by just like spinning them in between my hands upside down and it works. This is what I have so far and it's exactly what I wanted it to look like and I'm very proud of myself and it's really easy. It's actually really easy to make a DIY bouquet so you don't have to spend a bunch of money but I think I spent like 34 total though I did need like the accessories like these are the pins to put the like lace stuff on to wrap around the tape. Super easy though. All this stuff was like $20 from Amazon and maybe it adds up but I can make as many bouquets as I want now pretty much when I buy flowers so that's so cool and I feel like it's really pretty I like the little colorful accents I feel like it's gonna go well with the vibe tomorrow so here is the finished product she's a little wonky but I'm not a florist okay I don't do this for a living but she's also still cute and then I wrapped a little thing around it and then I put the pins in it it's a little DIY vibes but my entire elopement is DIY, so who cares? I'm gonna be holding it like this, so it'll be totally fine. Cute! Isn't she kinda cute? Like, I did kind of a good job. I had to give a lovely little shout out to Alani. Somehow, I got blessed and ended up on their PR, and they send me stuff every once in a while, and they have sent me these in the past. I got the Cherry Slush Energy Sticks. You just put one of these in some water, you get your energy, you get your pre-workout, however you wanna use this. It is very, like, potent. I swear, with the Alani stuff, like, I am up. So love that. Those are really, really tasty too i really like the cherry and then they just sent me the pink slush yesterday i have never tried the pink slush so i was curious to see and me and seb tried it and it definitely is giving like pink starburst it wasn't super carbonated if i remember which i kind of liked literally love alani so much 